Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm finally filming my room tour today and I'm so excited. Um, this video has been a long time coming. My last video, if you guys haven't seen it, I'll link it in the description box below and I'll also link it up here for you guys. It was me making over and me moving back into this room. So for those of you who haven't watched that video, I recommend going and watching it. But I used to live downstairs for like a year and this used to be like my child bedroom so I decided to move back in here because I wanted the white space I wanted the nice wallpaper and yeah I just wanted to make this room me just kind of make over this room so I'm finally revealing it today I'm doing my full room tour um, all of things that I remember to put in will be linked in the description box below so I'll have like a little like item details of everything and links of where I got most of this stuff um, most of this stuff is from Ikea, um, Amart, um, Kmart, all of those types of shops. But I will let you guys know where everything is from as I'm kind of explaining it. So yeah, um, please don't forget to subscribe if you are new and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Um, let's get straight into this. I'm so excited for you guys to see because this room is honestly like my pride and joy. I love this room. I feel so comfortable in this room. It's so me. It's so white. And it's just beautiful and I'm so happy. Okay, let's get straight into this video. So the first thing that you see when you walk into my room is obviously my plant. This is a fiddle leaf tree. Her name is Penny and I absolutely love her. I picked her up from Bunnings. They have such amazing fiddle leaves of all different sizes. And then the pot is also from Bunnings. And it's kind of like a ribbed um, kind of texture. Just white, a nice big pot for her to grow into. And yeah, she has sprouted a couple of leaves at the top. Um, she's thriving. She loves it in here. Um, and then this is kind of a pan over of the room. Um, so we have like big bits of furniture. So like my bed, my makeup table, my two Alex drawers, and my lac shelf. Okay, and then this is the other side of my room. So I have a really, really huge mirror. This is from Fantastic Furniture. I will link it in the description box below. It is super, super big so I can take selfies. So I'll show you guys how it looks um, when I'm like in it. So this is me. Um, and I love it because I can kind of take selfies and you can't really see the mirror. So that's why I wanted to pick up one that was nice and big but not too big. Um, and it also has like this little details down the side. So yeah, it kind of like slants off. It is like a little bit of like a steel color on the side. But um, that doesn't really bother me. And I think it actually kind of goes a little bit nicely rather than just straight silver. And then right next to my mirror, I have my Doc Martin um, Jaden Docs. I have no place for these, and I just kind of leave them there because they make my room look so bad, bitch. I absolutely love them, and then I just get reminded to wear them um, because I spend a lot of money on them. This is what they look like there. And then on my big wall, this is like my feature wall. Um, obviously, there's wallpaper, so it's a white and gray kind of brick. I did pick this up from Masters a couple of years ago, and it is quite textured, so I love this. I think it's so 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 stunning um i'm not too sure if you can still get this obviously you can't get this from masters anymore but i'm sure you could find something similar on the internet and i just think it's so gorgeous and just so different and just kind of like it makes the room a little bit more interesting but still really bright and white and fun and then this is my bed so i got this bed last year um and it is an ensemble so i just have like a black ensemble and then a queen bed so this is how like a queen bed fits in a pretty standard size australian bedroom i think this is like three by 3.5 meters or something like that just for like reference so just to start off my bed ensemble is from um amart i will link it below and i'll link Everything that I got down in the description box below. And then the bed head um, is this grey material and it is also from Amart. I think I will let you guys know if it's not though. But yeah, it's a beautiful kind of like a woven grey bedspread and it just has like lots of like rectangles on it. I absolutely love it. It's a little bit kind of cushiony and I just think it really ties it all together while still it not all being white. It's just a big grey piece. And then I've matched the little cushion. That one is from Kmart and then the other one is also from Kmart. My two European pillows are once again from Kmart as well as the um, pillowcases on them and then my bedspread is also a waffle kind of bedspread once again from Kmart and I do have a king um, doona 
on a queen bed just because I like it to hang over the side a little bit. And then this blanket is from Ikea and I just kind of have this on there um, now because it's a little bit cold. It's getting a little bit cold in Brisbane and I just like how it's kind of like throw and fun and it's not very warm but it does kind of like tie and cute to the um, kind of off-white accents that I have going on. And then we'll move over to my bedside table. This is what it looks like. So the bedside table is from Ikea and then up on my bedside table, I have this lamp. It is from Kmart. The clock is from Ikea. And then I just have a candle that I got a couple of years ago with my Laneige lip sleeping mask. I love this lamp because it kind of has like a marble bottom. So it kind of ties into like that off-white um, gray kind of theme. And then I just have a tissue box here that is marble. And then the book that I'm currently reading, which, which is just Make It Happen, Manifest the Life of Your Dreams. Then just below it, I do have all of my vitamins and my moisturizers just in this like little caddy and then all of my journals with a G on it um, which I just think looks nice because those are the things that I kind of reach for and then it just kind of keeps my room clutter free um, if you guys didn't know I'm a little bit of an OCD type of person so I like everything to be clean white crisp and neat I also forgot to mention that I do have a picture above my bed it's just a photo of me and Corey when we went on our cruise a couple of years ago and he got it for me for Christmas so that just goes up there and I like the black because I kind of just think it ties in other black in the room then on the other side I just have this little shelf I got this one from Kmart but I did paint this white just so it kind of like tied in a little bit better and I love it it's kind of like a little bit of like a white wash then I have this photo of me and Corey on our one year anniversary this little candle that I got from um a work colleague and then this little succulent that I just get from Bunnings in this beautiful pot which I think is so stunning so just like a little accent just to kind of bring height to my room um, and I love it I just think that also this kind of brings in the macrame and just little other accents I think that it ties really nicely to everything then probably my favorite piece of furniture in this room is my makeup table. If you guys haven't seen my makeup collection, I will link it below and I'll also leave a little card on the screen for you guys to go and watch that video. I love that video. I go through in depth all of my makeup. I made that video about a year ago, so my collection has changed a little bit, but most of the furniture has stayed the same. So this is the Malm dresser. This chair is from Ikea as well as this mirror is from Ikea as well as the lights and then the lights just kind of turn on at the back and then I have two rows of it like that um, which I love so I kind of DIY'd it and then I just stuck them on and it is perfect for me I won't go too in depth of this section but I just have a mirror here it's from Target um, it does like light up but I don't really use it that much and then all of my brushes um, which are very very dirty right now and then all of the little um, holders are all from Kmart I just get them from the bathroom section like toothbrush holders um, I really want to replace that blue run black there but it kind of like hides away so it doesn't even matter but yeah I love incorporating different textures and stuff so that's kind of what I've got going on I love the white but different textures so it's not just all like plain white then I have a little Polaroid photo of me and Adair on one of our friends 21st birthdays I love this photo it's one of my favorite ones so I always have it here to remind me how grateful I am for her and then underneath is a little bit boring but I did want to show you guys so I just have this little like caddy and I kind of keep all of like my electronic cords and everything kind of just tucked away but easily accessible and then I know where they all are so it's just nice to keep away and it keeps it like less cluttered underneath here then I have a power board those two lights are for my mirror and then that is another power board to go that way and then obviously my bin where I keep the trash <laughs> and then my favorite part about this dresser. This used to have all of my skincare and my backup products in it, but now that I've moved upstairs, I can actually use the bathroom and the storage in my bathroom. So I kind of made this into like a little bit of like a jewelry, um, like dresser. You guys would have seen this in my like makeover section. I kind of organized all of this. So this is what all of the jewelry looks like. I absolutely love how this turned out and I can see everything. I know what I've got. I know what I need to buy and what I don't need to buy. 
Um, and I got these off Amazon and they will be linked below. It was just came in a pack of three. And yeah, so this is where all of my earrings are. And then my necklaces and belts and stuff are in my cupboard. Then on the other side, I just have some boring things. So I just have like this little um, pineapple. I just have like my SD cards and just some other random stuff in there that I always use. These little things that you put your cups on. Then I have my Pandora bracelets in here. I don't really wear them that often. I really should, but um, they just stay there and I think it looks nice up there. And then if I do remember to put them on, I know where they are. And then I just have this little um, lipstick holder. I've got all of my Jeffree Star glosses, other glosses, you know, all of that stuff there. Then I have my makeup palettes on here. So in my last um, makeup collection video, I did have two of these, but I since got this one and I love it. I think it just kind of like adds a little bit of like a statement piece to this area. And I can kind of store like all of my bigger palettes in there and it still looks so cute and then obviously that is on top of my two alex drawers so the reason why they are different is because when i was younger i wanted to be a little bit different so me and my mom actually painted this one to kind of match the theme of my room back then um i wish that it was white but you know i'm can't be bothered buying a new one if i've got a perfectly good one right here i just think it's like a little bit of a waste of money so i don't really care that it's blue like it does bother me a little bit but honestly um it doesn't make me that mad and I kind of just have gotten used to it because it kind of ties in with my blue books and stuff. So yeah, that's the reason why that is blue. Anyway, so I have all of my makeup in this one. Um, you can watch my makeup collection video for all of the products and everything if you guys want to see. So yeah, this one is kind of like my random stuff and then that one is my makeup stuff. And then once again, on top of that, I have a little plant here. Um, I don't know what this plant is actually called. Um, that is what it's called. Um, and then this one, her name is Ava. She is kind of like going through it at the moment and I don't really know why. I water her like every week, um, and she gets like enough natural sun. Um, so yeah, I don't know why she's like that, but you know, at least she hasn't fully died yet. So, and then I also have her in this pot. So I got this pot from Bunnings and it's just like this beautiful, um, like textured pot it's so stunning and then next to it i have another plant down here so this one i actually just i used to have like a huge snake plant here but she was kind of getting a little bit sick and she was getting very damaged so i just like pulled her apart well not pulled her apart but kind of like propagated her and like just like you know planted her little nice healthy bits into some smaller pots so i'm gonna make this one grow nice and big and healthy and then the other ones i've just like put back in my garden outside um so that's why it looks really sad right now but um she will grow and she will thrive <laughs> and then this pot is from kmart i did purchase it in a kmart haul of mine i will link that in the card up here or up here um so yeah that pot is from kmart and then beside it, I do have my lac shelf. Um, I got this from Ikea, obviously. It will be linked in the description box below. Starting at the bottom, I just have two shelves of my favorite, like, books. Um, most of them are, like, mental health books and just, like, mindfulness and about crystals and happiness and the universe and stuff like that. The next one is my little perfume collection. So I have some from Lush. Katy Perry, Marc Jacobs, um, Giorgio Armani, YSL, um, The Body Shop, Vera Wang. Um, so yeah, they're all like my little perfume collection. I don't really have that many. And then the next shelf up, I have my salt lamp that I got for my birthday from Corey's mum and dad. And then I have this little like... Um, I don't know what it's called. It's like a little plate, but it's a llama. It doesn't really go with my theme, but I just kind of like have it there chilling because it's cute as fuck. And then I have my AirPods because then I know where they are and they're not hiding from me. And then I just have these like little rocks that I got from Kiki K so long ago. And then the next one, I have all of my essential oils. Usually they look a little bit like prettier than this. I'm um, just on this little um, ceramic, I think it's ceramic, but it's like a little tray from Kmart. I got this from the bathroom section just so that my oils don't kind of like ruin my shelf. Then I have some little samples here. Then I have my diffuser, which is my favorite. It's from Kmart. And then I also have some more of these rocks. So this is kind of like my essential oil section. And then also I forgot to mention that I really want to get some crystals and that's where I'm going to put them there. So that's why that bit is a little bit blank. On the second last shelf, I just have a photo of me and Corey, a G, and then this beautiful candle from Glasshouse Candles. It is the Caramel Crunch one. It's like salted caramel and pecan, and it's so stunning. I haven't burnt it yet, but it just smells beautiful. Then on the last shelf, I just have a candle 
of G on it. And then this pot here is also from Bunnings and then it just has like a little plant in here. I'll bring it down for you. This is just the plant. I haven't actually named this one, but this is one of those like hanging plants. I'm just trying to grow her to kind of like hang on the side. I'm not too sure what they're called, but yeah, I wanted to hang like down here and kind of just bring a little bit more green to like the top of my room. So yeah, that's the overview of my lac shelf. I love it so much. It's so simple and it holds all that I need it to. Then up here is my vision board that I made at the start of the year. Um, I need to change it though because it is coming up to halfway and I do have like different goals. But yeah, I made this at the start of the year um, and I have it somewhere that I see it every day. It doesn't really go with my theme, like it's a lot of pink, but I love pink. And I love looking at it every day because, you know, it reminds me of my goal. Um, and then down here, I do have this puff from Kmart. You guys would have seen this also in that last Kmart haul. I love this. I actually use this so much more than I thought I ever would. Funny enough to say, I use it every day to put my shoes on because it's like that perfect height. It's right next to my cupboard and I absolutely love it. <laughs> and I do not regret it one bit. Like, it's probably like my favorite thing Ever. And it also kind of ties in with the macrame um, pillow that I have on my bedspread and kind of like that off-white color. That's kind of like the overview of the room and then I have my cupboard. I have this mirror. I've had that on there for a couple of years. I think it's just a simple one from Kmart. I just thought I'd give you a little bit of a quick overview of my cupboard because I am obsessed with it and I've spent so long on making this so perfect. Okay, so this is the overview of my cupboard. There's a lot going on, but this is like the best it has ever been. So I have, first of all, my poster of Aldo that he signed. So it just stays there. So every time I put my clothes on in the morning, I see him and I love him. Um, and then I have all of my shoes down here. The rack that I have them on is just from Kmart. I'll link it below. And then I have my mom dresser, the six um, draw one, which I absolutely love. You guys would have seen me build this in my last video. So I'll go through this really quickly. So at the top is where I have all of my necklaces. So this is how they all are. I do like this, but I want to kind of get something that I can hang them on. Um, and then I just have small ones and then I just have where my badges go and my little triggers back there. The next one is for sunglasses. Now I do want to kind of fix this up and I am thinking of getting like a nail polish rack here. Um, this is all of my like goals for the year that I kind of put up that I haven't really been following because COVID kind of messed that all up. So yeah, I don't love how this is, but I do want to change it. Then I have my undies, my socks, and then I have all of my shirts, my like little tops. And this is where my OCD kind of comes in. Um, I am so obsessed with this. So it's all color coded. So I know what I'm looking for and what color. And then the last one is all of my sports bras. Once again, color coded um literally my pride and joy i love this drawer it makes me so happy it makes me so motivated to go to the gym then i have all of my um clothes hanging so this is mostly t-shirts jumpers um cardigans and then my jackets at the end so everything is color coded together so like whites creams um greens blacks purples reds and then all of my like bigger jackets like my denim jacket that one my leather my blazer and my puffer then back there i just have all of my dresses and stuff i kind of just move them to the back because it is getting cold in brisbane then above my mom six um drawers i do have these little like necklace holders from kmart that i just have all of my scrunchies on um uh, also color coded because we know that I'm obsessed with color coding. Then down here, I just have my pajamas, my gym bag, my empties that I'm keeping for my empties video. And then back there is my summer beach bag. Then I have all of my pants. So I've got all of my jeans here, tracksuit pants, and then all of my other kind of pants. All color coded because we know I'm obsessed. Then the next one, I have shorts here. Most of my denim shorts on top because that's all I wear. And then all of my skirts, which is not very many. Mostly short skirts. And then up here is all of my gym leggings. So these are all gym leggings color coded <laughs> once again. And then these are all of my shorts. And these are my gym tops back here. Also in another little um, Ikea divider. You get them from Ikea and they're super cheap and they come with lots of different ones. Um, yeah, they're just all color coded so I know what I'm looking for. Then up the top here, I have my 1,000 subscribers that Corey made for me. I love it so much. So I have it up there so every time I open my cupboard, I see it. And then I have these boxes from Kmart that I just store um, stuff in. So this one is hats. I think this one is like going out dresses. I've got some books, some other things, some other random things. 
That little um, divider up there is full of tote bags. This um, box is full of my swimmers. This one is full of my bags. And then I have this little like light board here that I got from Kmart. And I just have trust the timing on there because that's my all time favorite quote. Um, and just kind of like everything happens for a reason, you know, don't rush, like everything will come to those who wait. Um, so yeah, I just have that up there to remind me every day that I have to be patient and not everything will happen overnight. And then over here is kind of like my bigger bag. So I've got my uni bag, my makeup bag, my going away bags, and then some hats, some random hats that I have. So that is the completed room tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I've been talking about this video for so long, so I hope that it lived up to your expectations. I absolutely love my room. It makes me so happy. It's super white, super crisp. Um, super grey <laughs> and just clean minimalistic style um, and I just think it represents me so much I always have friends that come into my room they go holy moly it's so white and I'm like yes I love it white is my favorite color of all time well it's not a color it's a shade but you guys know what I mean so yeah let me know if you liked this video by giving it a thumbs up and if you guys have any questions of where anything is just comment below and I'll reply to you guys but um, Everything should be listed in the description box below. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope that I'll see you in my next video. Bye.